In this lesson, we'll extend our understanding of pi systems. Specifically, we'll look at aromatic pi systems, which possess a cyclic array of p orbitals overlapping in a pi-type fashion. As we could for linear pi systems, we can separate the sigma and pi molecular orbitals of aromatic compounds as well. Because pi orbitals reside on the frontier of electron filling, we will focus our attention on these kinds of MOs in aromatic systems, that is, the pi MOs, throughout this and the next few lessons. On this slide, you'll see two different views of the molecular orbitals of benzene, C6H6. These were constructed using a simplified version of the linear combination of atomic orbitals, or LCAO, procedure, called the simple Huckel molecular orbital method. The details of the method won't concern us here, but you will learn how to interpret the molecular orbitals of aromatic pi systems in order to make predictions about structure and reactivity. In fact, you'll soon be introduced to a calculator that makes the construction of aromatic MOs very easy. What you should notice for now is that the aromatic molecular orbitals are constructed solely from 2pz atomic orbitals, that is, atomic orbitals that are perpendicular to the molecular plane. In this respect, the pi molecular orbitals of aromatic compounds are similar to the linear pi MOs we've seen already. Before we examine aromatic molecular orbitals in detail, let's discuss some of the fundamental requirements for aromaticity. Aromatic compounds must possess a cyclic array of conjugated or adjacent double bonds or lone pairs. Because optimal pi-type overlap is a key characteristic of aromatic compounds, they must be planar. Furthermore, aromatic compounds must possess 4n plus 2 pi electrons within the ring, a requirement known as Huckel's rule. We'll examine Huckel's rule in more detail in an upcoming webcast. One can observe aromatic pi systems in a variety of compounds, both natural and unnatural. Given their frequency among known compounds, you might expect them to possess unique stability, and experiments have shown that this is the case. Let's imagine a hypothetical cyclic hexatriene in which the three pi bonds are prevented from interacting with one another. We can specify the energy of this species on an energy diagram at some arbitrary position. A variety of experiments have shown that benzene does not behave like this hypothetical compound. In fact, benzene is 36 kilocalories per mole more stable than our hypothetical ring. Hydrogenation experiments reveal that the heat released when benzene is hydrogenated is much less than expected for a cyclic hexatriene containing isolated double bonds. This 36 kilocalorie per mole difference between what's expected and what we observe experimentally is known as benzene's resonance energy, and it reflects the stabilization that results when we allow all six 2pz atomic orbitals to interact with one another. An additional important consequence of benzene's aromatic stabilization energy is enhanced chemical resistance relative to linear pi systems.